I'm going to close off this switch case monster segment by comparing switch statements and if else's. So what do we know about both? Switch statements are useful for comparing a value against the number of potentially matching cases. The if else statements are better used for checking against a single condition. So only single people should use them or all the single ladies. Oh, does that have ladies? We use switches when matching against ranges binding values, and match patterns in two plays. <laughs> two plays. How do we know when it's appropriate to use a switch or an if-else? We just gotta make a decision and go for it. Follow your heart, just kidding. I know you may be tempted to use a switch statement on a value that could potentially match against any number of cases, but in actuality, we really only care about one of them. This is gonna happen to you, trust me. So let's say, for example, we're checking a height constant of type int, looking for a specific demographic, a height between 20 and 42 inches. <laughs> we're looking for uh, small, small children and midgets. So we might think that a single switch statement with a single cause is the best option. So let's try it out. 25 switch height case. We're gonna use a range because they're nice. 42, print, that's some nice height you got there, boy, boy, I bet you like that height, and then we're gonna just break it off, and you, I feel like by now you know what this is doing, it's gonna throw in this height value here, and it's gonna check and see if it matches any of the cases, and lord knows that it does, and the default case, if that matches, it transfers the flow of execution outside of the switch with this break transfer control transfer statement. And the thing we wanna point out here is we had to use a default case, so switch statements can be exhaustive. If you thought using a switch case for this situation was wrong, you're freaking right. You've passed the test, let's see what else you got. The idea behind it is it's better to not have to write any code when you do not want anything to happen. This default case right here can freaking suck it. So let's use an if case instead. What? Am I combining the two, you freaking Bet I am, bro. So, Swift has an if case statement that provides pattern matching similar to what a switch statement offers. Well, let's uh, let's check out this baby. I'm gonna delete it. Hope you don't. Hope you're not too emotionally attached to it. If case, we're still gonna use the range equals height. Print nice height. Boy, I bet you like that height. Look how elegant this syntax is. Take it to prom, it's so elegant. It is legitimately, legitimately, checking to see whether your height is in the given range. If height is equal to anywhere in this range, you better print that nice height, boy. And that's what we did. You didn't even have to write a default case that you didn't care about. And nobody cared about it anyway. So don't get me wrong. If cases can get complex in their pattern matching, just as with a switch statement. Say we wanted to know if height was greater than or equal to 21. We could do, we could keep this and then we're just gonna add a little comma, height greater than or equal to 21, nice height, you're tall enough to drink. <laughs> this code is similar as before, but it adds a little new flavor. After the comma, it's also gonna check to see whether the height is greater than or equal to 21. I bet you didn't think you learned about if cases when you clicked on this video, but they prove to provide a nice substitute for switch statements with only one condition. Use an if case if you only have one case in mind for a switch, and if you don't care about the stupid default case. If case statements are just if else statements with improved pattern matching. So let me give you a challenge. I've given you a lot of information in this segment, Go ahead and create a switch statement using a WHERE clause, creating a new constant or variable to handle mishaps, and using a tuple. Put what you created in the comments, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next topic. I really just want to congratulate you on completing switch statements. You're amazing. Keep going. And you're probably taller than this. And if not, you got a nice height. So I'll see you in the next video.